if this video reaches 5,000 likes, I will open 200 of the new Golden Moons in the next episode. It's a tall order, but who knows? Thank you so much for all the support lately. We're getting very, very close to 946,000 subscribers. So if you want to support the channel, please do subscribe down below. Drop a like, as I said, sit back, relax, and enjoy because we've got some more Golden Moons today. We've had a good start with these crates, a few painted exotics, some decent black markets, but now hopefully that that's out the way, we go for the jugular and get something sick. Hydrate, remember to hydrate. All right, here we go. Golden Moons 23. And let me tell you, I just saw it on my desk. So I, I got to give it a shout out. It's not sponsored or anything, but oh my goodness, my favorite brand of protein bar, along with Nutramino, another one, Grenade, released an Oreo bar. And it's so good. I bought two boxes and they are absolutely unreal. Unfortunately, they pretty much just air me on social media. They don't have a Twitter, which would be the easiest way for me to reach them because I'm verified on Twitter. They liked my comment on Instagram. That was about it. Grenade, what does your boy have to do to get in on the action on some kind of sponsorship with Grenade? Because I've had hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of these bars. I had, I think, about 400 last year alone. Because obviously, since the start of 2022... I've been tracking every calorie I've eaten. And for the whole of 2022, not 2023, I was tracking every individual food item that I ate. I had 250 of the salted caramel ones alone from Grenade. So I, I hope they sponsor me, but they, they just, they probably won't. But either way, regardless, whenever I do some kind of sponsorship, if I ever do, because I actually got a comment the other day. I've had a few comments, people saying, you know, I notice you don't do any sponsorships. What's up with that type thing? Because obviously these days, every YouTuber just ram sponsorships basically i don't do sponsorships unless i like the product or use the product in some way so that's pretty much it so like nordvpn i did a sponsorship back in the day i still use them to this day vpns are potentially a sponsorship that i could be doing because i know the value of them and stuff like that there's certain food items and everything like that, that i'd love to do it Titanium White Liberty. How good does that look? I'm going to equip it. Looks so good with that car, the SSL car. I just, there's certain things I would love to do a, a sponsorship with, but some I just, just do not. So if you are a company and you reach out to me on email, probably, uh, realistically, I'm probably not going to get back to you. I'm more likely to respond to a viewer who wants me to like open their account or something like that because sponsorships is just, there's also a bunch of like scams going around these days. A lot of people, they think they've got an email for this lucrative sponsorship. They click a link or do something stupid and then bang, they're compromised. So I pretty much just don't look at all my sponsored uh, emails and everything like that. So I tell you what, the Crimson Toon sketch, the Crimson Scorer Toon sketch with these white libertines, that is a nice golden moon take on the SSL car, wouldn't you say? I think that looks absolutely phenomenal. We got 85 more to go. I'm thinking maybe we get one black market, surely, in the crates. Whether or not it's good, I don't necessarily know. And I want to say two painted exotics. Is that too much to ask? It feels like a lot to ask, given that we haven't had a single exotic yet. But you know what? That's what I'm going to go with. That's my prediction as well. That's my hope. And that's my prediction. A pink binary? Shout out to uh, everyone who agreed with me on the last crate opening or trade up video, I think, where I said that pink is basically slept on in Rocket League and it actually slaps. That looks unreal. But uh, in fact, I might quickly, actually, I'm just going to refresh myself and have a look in the item shop because I'm not sure. Use code Pixel Army, by the way. Was there something sick in here? I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's not anymore. It's now a Crimson Dingo. But there was just a Titanium White Interstellar in the Rocket League item shop, which is actually, technically speaking, based on the value of it on the market, worth getting. I don't know if that was a boost or if I heard that wrong. Maybe I heard it very, very wrong. It's a ripper wheel. We're going to get away from the drops and go back to the crates. But, you know, the, you've got to keep an eye on the item shop because they do sprinkle in some good ones. Obviously, they have stuff like the gold Dominus, the gold Dueling Dragons where they announce it. They make a big post out of it. But some items, even in the daily shop, they just sneak. Come on. Oh, I'll take that. Turtle Fire God. Come on. They just sneak it in the item shop. Fire God being one of them. They might just toss that in there. Although I wouldn't go for that. But the other day, in the daily items, they threw in the Titanium White Reapers for just a couple hundred credits. So even if you don't buy many things from the item shop, two things I would recommend personally. One, check it every day just in case there's a little hidden gem in the daily items. And two, if you want good crate luck like this in Rocket League, and use code Pixel Army. I mean, it's a very rare, so... It's not the worst. It's a light speed. You know, that's not, that's not the worst. It's not the worst. But first quarter of the way down. And I have to say, I I want to say thank you to all of you for all the messages regarding my sort of illness, my situation, everything like that that's been going on the last two months. Because it was at this point, the last video I recorded, the last 100 moon opening, where I literally couldn't go on anymore. I couldn't speak. I had to stop. And I basically 
was struggling throughout the entire video. That was the literal last video I made. Now, we're going all the way back down to 50 crates. Then we'll do best items only. And I've been talking non-stop. You've, you've seen this video. You've been here with me. I don't shut up. I could talk for England. I, I talk for a living. And I'm, I'm very happy to say that I am more or less better. I still wake up in the morning and my mouth is really dry and it feels quite uncomfortable to swallow. But I can get rid of that quite quickly by drinking up, by drinking water. And I feel like a lot of people get like that. If they maybe spend the night sleeping with their mouth open or something, if they're a bit congested or whatever, you'll wake up with a dry mouth, right? And then you get rid of it with a bunch of water. So with that being said... Yes! With that being said, I was going to do a hydration cup or crate. But we just got a, a painted black market in a golden moon. The fireworks, the moon, the fire god. This is amazing. 32 crates in. We've had two black markets. I actually don't believe it. I mean, it's all good vibes. I said in the last video, I've had enough. You know, we've got a few non-painted black markets, a couple of good exotics. We're going to move on and build now. That's exactly what we've done. And maybe it's because I'm feeling better. I'm feeling a little bit more like myself that the luck is actually improving. But let me tell you what an absolute godsend it is that I feel you know, more or less better now. You know, I've, I've been going back to the gym this week, which feels great because I had to miss that for a week, which I hate, hate, hate doing. I've been recording. My throat isn't dying at the prospect of recording for this long. And I'm pretty much not taking any medication to make myself feel any better anymore. So all in all, thank you for putting up with me. I can't, because I'm still on the catch up and I don't want to nuke my voice and record eight videos in a row or something like that. There will be a couple of days here and there, maybe going forward if it makes for better content and better videos in between. There will be the odd short here and there, but I want to make dedicated shorts, if that makes sense. So rather than, obviously some shorts will be this, but rather than taking a clip from a video, like maybe that Sky Blue Fireworks, you might see that in a short, for example. I also want to make dedicated shorts that you wouldn't see in a long video. Just videos that were from start to finish intended to be a short to begin with. And I've got a couple of really really cool ideas and also ideas that i don't think i've seen from people which is always a bonus if you can basically create some kind of original content from rocket league these days that's absolutely insane and i think i've got a couple of winning ideas so stay tuned and if i do make a short it'll only be a minute long tops so feel free to just give it a watch whilst you're on the toilet because i know there's many toilet gang members out there and i caught you lacking again but really, I'm just excited. I'm excited going forward. You know when you, you get over being ill and you can be more appreciative of being better? I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like that. And it just makes makes everything about the future bright. It makes everything amazing. It makes the, the next month or so amazing. And then, of course, in Rocket League, very soon, we've got Stage 4 Challenges, which means Season Rewards, which means we're starting to creep into the realm of we're getting close to the end of the season. There's a potential for me to get a pink tournament title this season. But even if we don't, we've got the SSL rewards, which look great. We've already had a look at. And then going into season 10, that is something that's going to be epic. There's going to be more crates, more accolade items, everything. And I cannot wait. And I'm finally feeling better. I don't want to jinx anything because I had it a couple times over the last couple months where I said, hey, I'm better, but I've given it a couple days and I think I'm there. So that's my rant. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you when we get either a painted exotic or a black market. Oh! I mean, all right. Every time I go to have a drink, I get a black market gold explosion. Every time. That's unreal. One, oh, wow. Where are the exotics? How have we had three black markets and no exotics? I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining. Because I was just talking about exotics, I'll show you that. But it's the water again, I'm telling you. It's the holy water. I'm pretty sure that is the Golden Moon Black Market record. So I'm going to put that in the title in one way or another. That's a boost. Uh, uh, magic Missile. Oh, I'm unreal. I'm unreal. All right, so there's three Golden Moons left. I definitely peaked in the first half. Maybe if I take a lucky hydration cr uh, cup because a crate, because last time it worked. Here we go. Maybe it's going to be another rare. Even the holy water has uh, become ineffective. So final crate. I'll do the trade-ups. We'll get to all the way up to import, I think, and I'll show you from there. So drop a like if you're enjoying. Subscribe, and let's get to it. Well, 
that's not too bad. I guess we'll take that. Probably, to be honest, I'll trade it up. But it's nice to see that. All right, here we go. Let's hope for the best. Number one. Fidget Spinner Saffron again. Back-to-back -back videos with that. Let's trade up all this crimson stuff. Come on now. Sky Blue Dynamo is not terrible. We'll trade it up, but still. Turbine's regular. Okay, and now we're going to go with you. You, one of you. I've equipped the other one. And let's try and get one more trade up out of these bad boys. Burnt Sienna Flamethrower. Come on. Reaver regular. Hopefully that's in the right series. Then again, it doesn't matter because we're not trading up this stuff. So we've got this, 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 this. And this. So we'll keep the Sky Blue Turbine trade up Burnt Sienna. So it is going to be a Golden Moon 23 trade up. We had, well, we had a Saffron Fidget Spinner and a Sky Blue Dynamo for our exotics. We had Painted Fireworks, Hellfire and Fire God. For our black markets, we have one more. Here we go. Come on. Oh, it just is a little bit of an L with the tune there. But hey, it means there's potential for more when we do a bigger opening in the future. But that was a win. Four black markets, two painted exotics. You've got to be happy with that. So that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I have been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I will see you in the next video very soon.